semester. Seen you here. Oh, let's get comfy. There, that's a bit better. So, yes, it's Saturday the 4th of December. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. I'm really enjoying this and I'm loving reading all your comments. Your comments are absolutely fantastic. So, thank you for joining in. It's great conversation going on uh, down in the comments. So, thank you very much. I have my coffee. Mr. G very kindly made me that one right we've got the Reese's treat from my advent calendar you'd have seen me earlier opening that and it's a different wrapper today ah now it's white chocolate I'm not very good with white chocolate white chocolate sometimes gives me a headache but I have been known to eat it if there is no other chocolate in the house. Does anybody else get like that when they're just like, oh, I just need chocolate, I need a sugar fix. So, as it's my advent calendar, I'm going to give it a go. Try and get the paper off without dropping chocolate everywhere today. Right. So pretty. See all the little ridges on there. Right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, that was a surprise. The white chocolate works very, very well with the peanut butter. I wouldn't have expected it to do that. That was all right. Sometimes it can be a bit too sweet and sickly. I don't know if anybody else finds that with um, chocolate, white chocolate. Oh, do you remember we sorted out the stuffing the other day that was in the very first project bag? I left that lying on the floor. I didn't put it away. There we go. I use a big, I use a big IKEA storage bag. Um, I keep all my spare duvets in them as well, and I ordered an enormous box of stuffing some time ago, uh, and didn't have anywhere to keep it. And then when I saw these storage bags at Ikea, it was like, ah, that's ideal. So they're zip storage bags, they've got handles, and I can just pull out whatever I want for a project, so it's really handy. Right, I'm going to delve into this basket. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the one that we're working through at the moment. There's an interesting mix of things there, isn't there? So let's go for one of the bags and see what's in it. So, this is the bag I've got. Aha, okay. This is a bright one, this. Look at this, look at all these colours. This is... Just the right way round. It's this way. I'll sit back a bit because it's a big old project. Oh, look at that. Actually, move that yarn out of the way. Oh, let's move my cup as well. I've got my cup handle there. <laughs> look at that. That, with the light shining through, that shows this pattern off to its full. This way, see if I can you see right down to the bottom. Now, 
this is a stunning blanket design. Look at that. Got crosses at the top, arrows here, squares in the pink, and then that beautiful star in the centre. This was going to be a stash buster. But I started off with the purple and pink and all my friends were like, oh, you need to try and do it in the Mrs. G. <coughs> Excuse me. You need to try and do it in the Mrs. G colours. So it's not quite Mrs. G colours, but, but almost, almost. And they are my favourite colours. Um, absolutely adore this. This uh, turquoise. And the very deep purple. So, what is this blanket? This blanket, the pattern is called Filet Fantastic. This pattern is by Heather Gibbs of Keep Calm and Crochet on UK. I got to know Heather through attending the Crochet Sanctuaries. She's been the guest designer a couple of times um, and she also attends as a guest. She loves it so much. So, and I actually pattern tested this blanket originally. So I have another version of it somewhere. No, it's downstairs. My other version is downstairs. And it was originally a crochet along earlier this year again i made coordinating stitch markers uh, for it it was a silver star with a crystal charm um adorned um on on that stitch marker and then the other stitch marker was a swarovski star crystal on its own absolutely stunning and I chose the star because obviously the center panel of this is the star what's great about this pattern is you don't have any joining to do because it is worked in sort of, um, panels so you just pick up you know you when you've finished one you insert your hook where instructed next Join your new yarn, new colour, and off you go. There were yarn packs available. Uh, I'll see if I can find the details. I don't know if they're still available now. But there were sort of rainbow versions, I think, in the yarn packs. It's filet crochet, so it is all trebles and chains. And really don't be daunted by it because it is such an easy and relaxing pattern to do. Um, I know a few people that have made this and have been in absolute raptures about it. And in fact, one of my friends, Laura, she um, was so pleased with herself because she'd actually managed to keep up to date for a long, long time. I think she's got further than me with her blanket. And I think it was just towards the end that um, sort of life got in the way. And uh, I'm sure she mentioned the other day that she hasn't actually finished it. But it's a lovely blanket, really nice. And to be honest, you could stop at any point. Do you know what I mean? If you decided it was big enough here, you could just stop at that, couldn't you? But you can see there's no real ends. There's just a few joining, joining ends there um, to weave in at the end. But that's it. So winner, winner. OK, is this a keeper or a weeper? It's the daily question, isn't it? Keeper or weeper? I don't want to frog this. I really, really don't. I would like to think that I would finish it. I think I should add it to... I think I should add it to the keeper pile and aim to finish that next year. 
Shall I tell you something else that I've noticed? Look, I was my future friend. I put my what the heck hook size did I use marker on. So I know that that was a three and a half hook. I don't even know if the hook is in the bag. This yarn was style craft, just bog standard style craft DK. The pink, I remember, was a bubblegum pink. Let's see. I've got one of the Stationery Geeks um, swatch card, which you can see is completely blank. Um, but I have used it marking off rows on the back. When I've used those in the past, I have put what hook size I was using. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's Styles Craft Special DK. And the turquoise is just bog standard turquoise. The pink is, like I say, I do remember it's bubblegum. And I can't remember, I will have the tag for this somewhere else. Uh, and I know that I've got more yarn because I did buy more and I have a feeling it's at that end of the attic somewhere. Um, I'm getting the Christmas decorations out today and they're all up that end so who knows what else I might find. There might be more bags down here tomorrow for me to sort out. Anyway, interesting thing is that's everything in the bag. No hook in here. So had I not put one of my stitch markers on telling me what size hook I used, I wouldn't have known. So, yes, my past Amanda was the future Amanda's friend by putting that little stitch marker on. There we go. So do you agree? Do you agree that it's a keeper or do you think, Amanda, you're just going to end up keeping so many? You're never going to finish them all. But if I don't keep buying new kits, then in theory, I should be able to finish these next year, shouldn't I? And I'm sure there weren't many more weeks left on this particular blanket. Shall I tell you what I have just spotted as well? Oh! In fact, all of the stitch markers that I designed are attached to the blanket. I'll take that one off because I've just got that looped around one of the trebles. There we go. That was one of them with the beautiful purple crystal. I'll pop that one back so I don't lose it. And the other one... So the other one, remember what I talked about the other day, about putting it into your final loop so it didn't all unravel? That's where this one is. You see, it's my final loop. I can tighten it there. That's the Swarovski crystal. Look at that. Very special. Very special stitch markers, these. Um... I don't think, I'm trying to think if they're still in my shop. They might not be a current listing, but if anybody wants a set of these stitch markers, just send me a message um, via my Etsy shop and I can uh, relist these ones. Because it's a very pretty, very pretty set. Oh, well, that's a win as far as I'm concerned, especially as it's got all of my stitch markers on that... Um, so I wondered where those were. I've got my stitch markers. I know what hook size I use. The pattern is online. So I didn't have that printed off. Keeper or weeper, guys? I think it's a keeper. I'd be interested to know if you think I'm just collecting too many. Or should I just stop where I am? 
and leave the blanket that size. That's another option, isn't it? There we go. So really, what did I do with the other projects that I'm keeping? I'm trying to think, what did we have? First day was, I frogged that, that purple yarn that was not the right yarn for the bag that I was making. So that was day one. Day two was the beautiful Christmas blanket from the Crochet Sanctuary Ladies. Day three were Amy's hats. So I've taken that bag downstairs, uh, ready for me to sew the ends in. Because I can do that one night when I'm watching TV. Um, where did I put? Ah, I can see. Just round the corner, I put um, the Christmas blanket. So I will add this bag to that. When I've cleared this basket, I'll put the projects that I'm keeping in here. But I think there's quite a few loose bits in there, so I don't want to sort of just empty that out now. Right. That's it. Another bag done. I'm feeling like it's quite therapeutic doing this. I actually feel like it's a constructive use of my, you know, 15 minutes a day coming and doing this. Just shows you doesn't it what you can do in quite a small period of time it doesn't have to be daunting uh, you don't have to think oh i've got to sort those six million whip bags out today just one a day 15 minutes sorted <laughs> thanks for joining me i will try and get some more footage today because the plan is to start putting the christmas decorations up so i said to my husband while i'm up here I'll bring some down with me. Right, that's it. Oh, I knew, I've got something else to show you. I knew there was something else. Right, where did I put it? Oh, flip. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I'll put it down here. Okie dokie, I treated myself not to an advent calendar, well obviously I've got my Reese's advent calendar, but I've treated myself to a yarn 12 days of Christmas calendar from the Yarn Whisperer. Now the plan was, I think I might have said this already, to open it on the traditional 12 days of Christmas, um, but my friend Sharon, her yarn advent calendar from another supplier still hasn't arrived, can you believe that? It's not very good. Um, and so we're opening, because we've both also got the 12 days of Christmas. So we're both opening our 12 days of Christmas together so that we can share in that excitement and message each other about it. And so each day we've been opening them. Now I'm about to show you what is in today's day four. So if you too have got the 12 days of Christmas from the Yarn Whisperer, just turn away and let it keep running because I won't actually say what the colours are or anything. So you can just look away like this and then when I tell you it's time to look back, you can turn around and it'll all be clear. All right, so we'll do that. Turn away now. That's it, put it down. If you've got your cup of coffee, put your coffee down. Turn away. All right, you're not looking? Good. So for anybody that wants to see, here is day four. Look at that nice isn't it that's what it's called really nice very happy with that right I've put it away now so anybody who had turned away can now look back it's safe to look back now all right okie dokie I'm gonna get on with my day you enjoy um, well I'll, I'll see you in a few seconds if I do some more footage <laughs> but I'm off now to do the Christmas decks and uh, have a spot of lunch all right, catch you later. Bye. Well, a bit of good news. I've come up to the attic to start sorting out the Christmas decorations to take downstairs. And as I'm just moving some boxes, guess what I've found? Look, 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 look. It's the yarn for the Christmas Eve, no, the Christmas morning blanket that I found on day two. 
of Vlogmas. So, yes, that's a great result. It's also time for me to pack away all my lovely autumn decorations and replace them with my Christmas ones. that but it just flew off the cake that I'm winding just flew off the winder <laughs> oh dear now which way does it go on oh it's a devil to get back on so annoying it's so tight Let's see if this is easier I've taken it off did you know you can take the tube off a ball winder? Oops! God. <laughs> That's attractive, isn't it? we go again. Well, I got there in the end. Look at that. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to use it as a centre pull though. That's the only trouble. So we'll have to see. I've just got to do the undyed one. Now that one went much better. Look at that perfect cake. Beautiful. <laughs> 